Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mayur Agrawal, Faculty for Endocrinology at Marrow. Today we have very important guest, Dr. Benjamin. He has cracked rank 4 in INI SS 2024. So first of all, congratulations, great work. So congratulations from me and the whole Marrow team. So let's start this interview. And as I've already asked, you're still working, so you need to rush to hospital again. So let's start with very, very basic question. How are you feeling now? Yeah, uh, it's great feeling like uh, getting uh, like rank in INISS. Uh, yeah, so it has been a pleasant experience. So, and I would like to thank Maru and especially uh, my user because his teachings were so helpful uh, in forming the basics of understanding. So, yeah. So, so were you expecting this rank? Uh, not really, uh, to be honest, because uh, the exams in the past have been quite unpredictable as far as rank is concerned, especially with endocrine, as we all know. So, I mean, getting a rank itself is uh, a good thing. I mean, it's a great news. So, yeah. So, it's a very genuine answer, I would say. But uh, as, as I, I was noticing, most of the people are actually opting for endocrinology. Even in net, uh, NEET SS, almost uh, one in two is going for endocrinology. So what made you think that, okay, endocrinology is something where I would pursue my future career? Or why have you joined actually this super specialty? You're presently working at AIMS. So yes. why did you join this endocrinology? Uh, so, so to be honest, from uh, first year MBBS itself, my inclination was... Uh, always in the endocrine system, uh, like right from the days when we used to read physiology. So I used to love reading endocrine, like uh, even in physiology, be it biochemistry. So even in medicine, I was more inclined towards endocrine as a subject. So, I mean, I always had that kind of thought process that even if I do MD medicine, I'll probably end up taking uh, endocrine eventually. So I didn't have to think too much, like kind of battle between the branches. So it was quite clear from the start. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for those who don't know, uh, Dr. Benjamin has done his uh, MBBS from KGMC Lucknow and did his MD medicine from AIMS Delhi. So probably you would love to join AIMS Delhi, but uh, probably yeah. maybe or you may not get it. So yeah. what are your other options? Yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah. So wh where are you thinking to join? Uh, at this point, I feel like anything is great as long as you, uh, I mean, it also depends on the person, I think. Uh, because anyway, we have very limited seats in endocrine itself. Uh, so I don't think we can be very picky when it comes to the college. So anything is great, I feel. So I don't have much preference. Yeah. Yeah. So most of us, even including me, did not have any exposure of endocrinology, but you were fortunate that you would have at AIMS Delhi. So uh, did it help in your preparation and who was your role model? Uh, role model? I mean, there are many like of our seniors who I look forward to and who has inspired me a lot. But uh, as far as exposure is concerned, uh, in Ames Delhi, we do have metabolic clinic in our department. And we, I mean, uh, endocrine department as such can't handle all the endocrine cases. So we do see lots of endocrine cases in the form of uh, CDGB, be it type 1 diabetes, uh, hypothyroidism, all the common cases. Uh, so exposure is great from that perspective. So uh, I used to enjoy seeing those cases also. And when I used to get like, uh, uh, what to say, special cases like uh, uh, in patients, if I suspect men's syndrome, or if I have kind of difficult to manage patients, then I would uh, discuss it with uh, some of my seniors in the endocrine department or uh, some of the consultants that I have contact with. So in uh, a way, I already have some of the, like, I think preconditioning that I needed to have. Yeah, to go forward with uh, this branch. Yeah. yeah. 
so i i think getting exposure in endocrinology actually sets up your mind and it actually helps to crack the exam because now the questions are more of clinical sort it's not a one liner exam especially i'm talking about ini ss it is more of clinical approach where if you don't know you don't know if you know you know that's it any yeah. any way to read too much also it may not get into your head that is what i feel so we have tried to create an uh, question in that way only that it's like seeing a patient yes sir so uh, how did you prepare because see um, doing work doing srship especially at uh, such a big hospital with so much patients it's really tough to manage time so how do you do it uh, uh, so the marrow modules really help uh, in that sense because suppose if you're posted in icu like if you have night shift and all you are not running around 24/7 so you can just open your tab and just do the questions or you can just uh like listen to the important topics so in a way uh, the marrow modules were very helpful in that sense uh so doing a scholarship is also great in the sense because what i have observed is uh like getting uh, the seat especially in endocrinology in the first attempt is almost near impossible so you're going to have a lack of at least uh, two or three semesters so then it's up to you whether you want to sit and read or you want to work and read so in my case i decided to sit uh, i mean uh, go forward with sr ship and then study simultaneously mainly because i first of all i don't like like sitting and reading 24/7 so that doesn't work for me and second i feel like i need to make the like clinical connection so that even if i don't recall directly i have some other ways of recalling uh, the information like in one way or the other so i think that's what's important uh yeah when it comes to uh, competitive exams yeah so uh, like you said reading bits and pieces also will help and whenever you have time so how will you cover this uh, harrison or williams because it requires a link you cannot read in bits and pieces yes sir. so how did i you do that yes sir i did finish uh, harrison like uh, i think during my uh, uh, preparation for uh, md exam final year and uh, the group also i have the textbook uh, and because nine, uh, 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 like in the, some of the discussions it was referred multiple times uh, especially for a pediatric endocrine part and uh, uh, williams i think i have the older edition uh, yeah so i completed that in 6 to 8 it, it might be 6 to 7 months i think i'm not very sure uh yeah so but then after that i didn't go back and read the whole thing for subsequent preparation so i had like a s- small like a uh, note in which i have the important ones like the important parts of like every like topics from endocrine so i used to go back and read those apart from whatever was taught in marrow modules so yeah that's how i go about with the preparation so um with this i think you are more focused on ini ss rather than need because you read almost everything whatever can be asked in super specialty uh yes but need was also quite surprising in the sense the last time i wrote uh they were asking in depth questions from every uh, specialty i think yes. so even the ones the questions which came from endo uh some of them were quite tough i mean uh they were not like run of the mill questions that we used to see in previous uh, neat ss questions so yeah so uh, how did you uh, how do you grade this es uh, exam was it really tough or it was easy um from in the crime perspective i think it was moderate like definitely not tough but as we know in endocrine i feel like most of the people who prepared for endocrine we kind of master the subject to an extent so it all boils down to how well you do in the common papers so the common papers i feel they were quite equally balanced this year uh, if you look at previous papers uh, like they used to focus on hepatology or uh, rheumatology or something like that 
but this time like they were asking questions from like every subject like uh, it was quite equally distributed so uh, i think that that was the main rank deciding factor when it comes to i mean endocrine in particular yeah okay and uh, how did you do the last minute revision because you've read almost everything so getting everything to recall everything is really tough because what i feel you have gone to a next extent like most of the people don't read the group and we have also never read during preparation i would say yes during residency during super specialty we do read but not during preparation so how did you get all those things in short span uh, for the revision thing yeah so uh, i again like i said uh, i had a like a separate note for myself regarding important topics like uh, in previous years uh, they used to ask like in depth question not every question but there would be like four or five questions uh, like i remember one time when i wrote uh, they were asking regarding gnr uh, gnrh stimulation test uh, in familial testotoxicosis i think so which was quite tough if you didn't revise that particular topic so uh, from the group i revised important topics like cah and then uh, the whole puberty dsgs and all those things but thankfully it wasn't asked again like <laughs> i don't know whether that was a good thing or not but uh, yeah so specific topics and for uh, the common papers i just went through some of the notes that i had from uh, uh, medicine the marrow teachings and all yeah so i was revising those the notes that i had so so before we end uh, i would also like to get your feedback both the positive and the negative uh, on the way we teach and whatever we have done okay yeah sure sure sir so, so yeah go on i i think like uh, i have been following this uh, platform for the past like 2 years uh, so i think it's a good platform uh, especially the mcq discussion teaches you how to uh, analyze a question in uh, like the least possible amount of time and uh, plus with each and every question uh, like uh, what i found was you were going back to the subject matter which was really nice so the uh, so that you can make the connection between the question and the subject matter so you uh, kind of form your own correlations and then i think that helps in recalling the questions better when you get a different question so yeah so the platform is good definitely yeah so i i think there are few topics and the question revolves actually around that so if you know the stem if you know the catch point you can actually yes. answer most of the question so within yes. those 17 18 hours we have tried to incorporate everything and if you basic you if you understand the basic concept probably you would solve 90 to 95% of the question not the factual one obviously factual one needs um, revisions and that facts changes the data changes the percentage changes so that needs to be revised again and again so obviously that cannot be covered but we have tried to do it and what was the negative thing which will help us to improve for the future aspirants um i think uh, like I don't have much complaints when it comes to the platform that you guys have provided but I think we uh, it would be nice if there can be a bit more expansion on the lab techniques laboratory techniques and all because in the interview also they were asking lots of questions on the laboratory uh, techniques regarding ELISA regarding uh, sandwich essay uh, like in depth questions so yeah i think that's one thing that can be improved on rest of the topics i think they were covered well uh if not in depth but it kind of primed you to uh uh have the basics enough to go and read the subject matter so yeah okay okay thank you and before we end any message for the future aspirants yeah so uh, if you're preparing for endocrine in particular i would uh, suggest uh like uh obviously if you are going for endocrine i hope that you are in love in the crane so <laughs> otherwise it's kind of uh what to say uh difficult topic not to say but you need to read a lot in endocrine so uh and it's really difficult to get seats in the first attempt so don't give up 
uh, give it two two times, three times. Uh, it doesn't matter as long as you get the seed that you want. Uh, so I would like uh, everyone not to give up on their dreams if uh, they are pursuing in the chronology. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for sparing your time. Thank you, sir. Thank you.